In this segment of the video training course, we'll teach you how to install a thread repair insert in a spark plug hole of an aluminum cylinder head. The procedure is exactly the same for a cast iron cylinder head except for the insert is made out of steel. The first part shows the installation of the shell cutter on the core drill for counterboring the top of the hole. Some cylinder heads require this step to make room for the installation tool. Um, cylinder heads like the Ford Triton motors do not require this step. We start out by applying a little bit of cutting fluid to the core drill and shell cutter. The shell cutter has stops built into it that will stop it from cutting once it reaches the original uh, surface of the spark plug hole. Just simply drill the hole out in one step and it drills the hole out and counterbores all at the same time. We're next going to tap the hole. We'll apply a little bit of tapping fluid to the tap. The tap is piloted so it'll follow the hole. And we'll just use a ratchet to tap the hole with. Make sure you use plenty of tapping fluid because aluminum does require tapping and cutting fluid. And tap the hole down all the way through making sure that you start to feel the tap get easier as you come out the other side. Again, use plenty of tapping fluid during the process. We're using an aluminum insert here because it's critical for heat transfer. If you use steel or stainless steel coil, you'll find you have a problem in heat transfer with your spark plug. The hard anodized surface improves the integrity of the hole. Blow out the hole, clean it out real good. Now we're going to set the depth for the locking pin. There's a depth gauge hole in the top of the installation tool. Slide the drill bit in and then put the drill tube over the drill bit. Slide the drill bit into the chuck of your drill where the spacing tube touches the drill chuck and the installation tool. That sets the proper depth. Tighten the drill chuck. This is what it will look like when we're drilling the hole. The drill tube sits into a little counterboard hole and the drill bit will come out right down along the side of the insert. Apply a little anti-seize to the installation tool. This will prevent thread locker from getting in between the two. Install the insert onto the installation tool. And we're going to put a little bit of thread locker into the hole using the 623 thread locker. And we're going to install the insert down into the head. Screw it in with your fingers to get it going, get it going straight. And then run it down in with a ratchet until we get to the bottom of the hole. And then we'll use a torque wrench to bring it to the proper torque. This one uses 27 foot-pounds. Each insert has a little different torque. Now we're going to take the drill tube and stick it down in the counterboard hole, take our long drill bit, stick it down through the tube, and we'll drill until we reach the, the top of the drill tube. This sets the proper depth. You have to use a drill motor that's at least 2,000 RPM so that you don't break that little drill bit. Now put one drop of thread locker in the top of the drill tube, take the little locking pin, place it in the top of that drill tube so it slides down inside, and then take your long 1 16th inch drill bit and simply push that pin clear down to the bottom and seat it into the bottom of the drilled hole. Then simply loosen the insert installation tool and that completes the repair. And you can see how the locking pin is located into the joint of the insert and the parent material. Mm -hmm.